This is Svetlana and Bella Conrad with you. Bella Conrad Lifestyle. Let's call it like that. So that's what became already after me teaching people over the Zoom. And it sounds like it's becoming a lifestyle more than anything else. And then I actually do appreciate you guys for staying with me and going through, taking this journey with me. And we actually worked through over all of this. And you feel like you're uh, improving. That's all good. Awesome. Now. Sometimes I'm going to be answering and doing the podcast about different things. And so one of them today I'm going to be doing, it's uh, there is a consistent uh, comment that I get that people feel like when they watch videos of me and Eric, when he's working with me, when he's teaching me, that he's a little bit too much nitpicking. For a second. Well, no, you see how you just dropped your upper body? Well, you can review it on camera. You just went like this. You're perfect. I felt it all. And then you went, watch. You were lifting, you went, and as soon as you let go, you went like that. That's it. That's what we're trying to build up as your standing side. I see. I can see why you see that, you know. And uh, some of you even go a little bit more into the trying to defend me and saying, why don't I turn around and give you him an evil look? You know. Well, okay, let me answer that question. You know. The reason he is nitpicking and... He needs to, you know, because my body not always sometimes wants to work and uh, I understand the process of teaching because I am also a student and I'm also at the same time a teacher. So here's a benefit of that because I understand how student feels when they've been too much, if you want to call, um, when the too much correction is done to them and the student feels like, okay, now you're nitpicking on me, it's not really beneficial. I understand that and I also understand the teacher side why the teacher sometimes a little bit too much on getting you going and I understand the benefits of both of them and unfortunately a lot of the times students and teachers don't communicate about that really 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 well and so therefore because of that it creates a conflict you know so me being in the position of experiencing both at once, you know, uh, I actually, believe me or not, I did feel the same thing before I started teaching. I felt the same thing to towards Eric. I thought, uh, you're too much, um, you know, nitpicking. You don't allow me to make a move. You know, you just, you know, want me to do more. But then now, I'm, when I'm teaching now, and I understand where the teacher coming from when they do that. They just want you to improve. They know that you can do more. And only they, when they're outside looking at you, know how much they can push you. Because you, when you're doing things, you cannot push yourself so much. That's why you need to have another person who can push you a little bit more into the uncomfortable zone to in order for you to become stronger, in order for you to gain, to become, to improve. And, you know, so yes, so from the outsider view, when you're watching the process of somebody being taught, yes, sometimes it might look like he's nitpicking, but believe me, you know, I understand where you're coming from with that comment, but in any case, I understand, and don't worry, you know, I know how to handle this, you know, he's not nitpicking me, I actually do appreciate that he does, comments a lot more on my technique. I do appreciate that he corrects me a lot more. Now when I'm, as I'm teaching, uh, I understand why he's doing that. And I understand how much patience needs to be done from both sides, from the teacher side and from the student side. So yes, ballet is not only about the technique and doing the class and mind, you know, but it's also about understanding yourself and actually learning to be patient as a student and as a teacher. Uh, yes, Bali actually taught me one thing, patience. You know, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of us are too quick um, to the boiling point, you know, like when you get a little bit too much pushing and you know, you go like that. You know, so anyway, but that's what I've learned. Bali actually teaches you patience. Yeah. In the same way. Again, 
I'm going to remind you constantly now after every podcast, I'm open to the students. I actually like teaching. It's really my passion, I think. And uh, so, yes, you're welcome to do Zooms with me. I do Zooms every day from 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, just contact me at bellaconnor.gmail.com. We talk about discounts if I run any kind of offers and price and we'll settle your schedule with my schedule and we will go even if you're in another country we we'll talk about the time difference everything will be fine don't worry and also we have a subscription please subscribe and there is more new things coming the the new year starts with a lot of lot of new things and a lot of new videos also will come out on our uh, website so please subscribe to us all right okay bye out